When we created hierarchies for each of our dimensions, we cleared up one problem that suggested that we create hierarchies, but we created a new problem, and let's take a closer look at that now. When we point to the warning here, it tells us that attribute relationships do not exist between one or more levels. There's an attribute relationships tab in our dimension designer, and what this does is it shows us the current attribute relationships. And any time we have a natural hierarchy, we need to align the attribute relationships here on this tab to reflect the relationship coming from the key attribute and then rolling up to each successive level. Now this does not happen strictly from the definition of our user hierarchy here because we can create both natural and unnatural hierarchies. So the attribute relationship is to help provide hints to analysis services for storage and query optimization to tell it how our natural hierarchies are configured. So the way to think about this is we're going to define our many to one moving from left to right. So we have region has a relationship with country. It's already defined here the region to country is the many to one relationship. But our next many to one in our hierarchy would be from country to group. So we can just drag and drop from country to group and that realigns the relationships there into a proper many to one relationship. Now if we go back to the dimension structure we see that the warning on our hierarchies has now been eliminated. But we have a new warning under the territory dimension and that tells us to define attribute relationships as rigid where appropriate. So back to the attribute relationships page we can see when we right click on a particular relationship that the color coding tells us whether it's flexible or rigid. We want to use rigid when we know that there will not be realignment from one member that's at one level to another member in the higher level. In other words, if the region southwest and northwest are going to stay within the United States and not become part of Canada at some point, then we can feel fairly certain that this should be a rigid relationship. So the rigid relationship just is an optimization for processing that says we're not going to be moving things from one parent to another. Similarly, we're not going to be moving United States from North America to Europe. So when we go back to dimension structure, we can see now that all of our best practice warnings have been eliminated. So if we look at our other dimensions, we have attribute relationships here for product, and we can see that the relationship from product to subcategory to category is already defined here because we had a snowflake dimension. So the table structure gave the dimension designer the information needed to create the correct attribute relationships. If I were to create a non-natural hierarchy, something like color and size, and let's give this a name, then the attribute relationship page would show size and color as separate objects here, but they're not part of a natural hierarchy. Therefore, I don't want to create a hierarchy like size and color, even though I can do that here, that will probably create incorrect results in my cube as we try to work with size or color independently. So if we make a mistake in our relationships, we can just select the arrow and press the delete key to remove that relationship and then I can take product and drag it to color to reassociate my relationships for that attribute. That means we're always going to see this warning here about attribute relationships but remember that we can dismiss those warnings individually. So we've set our attribute relationships for territory, for product, now let's look at date and set the attribute relationships properly here. We go from date to month, month to quarter, quarter to year, and then that creates our correct relationships. And then employee, we do not specify attribute relationships because the arrangement of the hierarchy is all determined by the self-referencing join that's established within the data source view. When we're done, we just deploy and we won't see any physical change in the data. 
All that has happened at this point is that our warnings have been eliminated and the proper structures to optimize the storage for query purposes will be implemented.